Pisces, what up, doe? Family, welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message for the sign of Pisces, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart. Keep in mind, we all have a 12th house part of our birth chart. Time and energy are fluid. So take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. And uh, these readings are timeless, y'all. So whenever you stumble across this message, there will be something here for you. There will be something here for you to help empower you, to help you align, heal, um, to help bring you clarity and confirmation and all of those great things. Hmm. Tapping into my Piscean energy today, I use this faceted garden oracle deck. Been using that one quite a bit lately uh, to help me catch a vibe as I'm tapping into your energy. It's called the faceted garden oracle. Um, <clears throat> And this is, I mean, very similar to Cancer and Scorpio as well. Sorry about that. Um, a huge shift here. It feels like it's, I'm getting this diamonds are created under pressure energy where I know my Pisces have been through a lot, a lot lately, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, shakeups, breakups, teardowns, blowups, all of it. And what it feels like is you are sort of coming into your own, you're coming into your power through that. And there's a massive shift happening for you. There's this huge change, this metamorphosis, this rebirth type energy where, again, it feels like you truly are blooming. You're stepping into your power, you're changing, you're embodying this wisdom that you've gained through all of this stuff and you're truly rising above the darkness here Pisces and um, shining you're blooming right I love this lotus card it has been coming out for all of us lately every sign um, and a lot in the personal readings where it's all about not only ascending but overcoming the darkness it really is about coming about the mud Pisces where um, not only have you risen a out the mud you've come out the mud you've risen above the darkness but you have you're blooming into this into your most beautiful and divine self through this all to where uh maybe some of you are even able to be uh an inspiration or an influence or even a teacher in some cases for others who have been through similar darkness who have come out similar mud right and there's a message here for my pisces not to let everything that you've been through really harden your heart or to put your defenses up so much that you're closing yourself off here. Um, there really is this message about being able to see the beauty in the pain, right? Um, to be able to see all of the beautiful things that you have gained through all of your struggles and hardships, right? With this Thorns card, again, it's really also about not putting up your walls right now too high and and i know that's a lot easier said than done but um there's something here about keeping an open mind keeping an open heart and really being able to take this wisdom with you to discard any hatred any resentment any anger any sadness or anything that we're holding on to that can be detrimental or cause a blockage in our ascension and for our growth because I do see you moving into a new energy I see you moving into a new chapter this pollinator card has been very popular as well lately for the collective and it is about moving from flower to flower moving from one chapter to the next and really taking with us from this chapter only what we need only what we were meant to take from the chapter and that's sort of pointing to you know what we're meant to take from this chapter is we are not meant to take hatred anger grudges and things of that nature we're not meant to take um to put on this armor and not let anybody in and things like that right we're meant to heal these things and truly transcend them and rise above them so we are able to fly over to this next flower and pollinate right to cause growth around us to hold this frequency to plant it wherever we're at um, for the benefit of not only ourselves but everybody around us on the bottom of the deck we have this core card with this passage card so it's almost like this rite of passage that you've made it through Pisces has really got you to the core of yourself your true self your highest self and you're able to take that now and use that and really put it in put it to work right so with that being said, we're going to dive into this tarot. We're going to um, say a quick prayer and then I will get to pulling these cards and we'll see what comes through for my Piscean family. 
Beautiful. Three of Swords wanted to slip out with the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, right? Seeing the beauty and the pain, healing from the pain and using everything you've learned to create your happiness and to create peace in your life and to truly uh, create this legacy, co-create with the divine that we came here to create. So Divine Mother, Father, Holy Spirit of the Most High, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors of the Light, messages for my beautiful Pisces family for their highest good. Anything my Pisces need to hear right now, anything they need to know, any messages that will bring them clarity, confirmation, empowerment, healing, any messages that will help bring my Pisces into alignment with their highest self, with their highest timeline, their best life, and with your will, Most High, will be truly and greatly appreciated. All praise and glory forever and ever. Om, Amen, Ashe. Holy Spirit, what's the message here for Pisces today? In the past? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. In the past, please, Spirit. Wow. What is incoming? Or what is the current energy? Excuse me. It's been such beautiful energy coming through for my water signs today, you guys. It's it's big. It's big. guys wow this is major what's the theme what, what else with this thank you spirit okay and what do we have incoming thank you spirit okay 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 On the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of wands. You guys, this is, I see, it's movement. It is movement in this case. Um, it is movement. Okay, that's what spirit wants to say for now. So we'll, we'll add to that. Um, yeah, maybe movement away from some type of betrayal or shady energy. So in the past energy too, that's sort of what I see. I see a lot of hardships and hard times that my Pisces have made it through with the Ten of Swords coming through back here. <clears throat> and this does, it speaks to our tower moments, our death, our rebirth moments. It speaks to the people that have done us wrong, the betrayals, the toxicity, the narcissism that we've dealt with. This really speaks to, I mean, there's ten, 10 swords in this person's back and each one of them got there somehow, right? 10 swords in your back, that's enough to kill you, right? So these situations have not been easy that my Pisces have went through but it also speaks to the ending of that cycle it speaks to the ending of that hurt well maybe not the ending of the hurt but the beginning of the healing uh, through the ending of this cycle of pain and and hardships and it really does feel like there was an offer to build something there was an offer to move into a new energy there's an offer to truly not only work on yourself but work on the life that you truly want to create here Pisces and I see that you've taken that energy I'm sorry I'm, you've taken that opportunity and decided to put your energy into yourself and what it is you're creating so and and also I'm hearing it also into your healing so a major rebirth here and uh, again, maybe some of you are working with crystals, but this is bringing me back to the first message that came through about diamonds are created under pressure. And this is really about my Pisces being able to take that 
to find that and take that diamond in the rough to be able to take that jewel of wisdom and healing through the hardships that we've been through. Maybe some of you are working with crystals um, or maybe this is a message for those of you that are drawn to that to uh, find the crystals that you resonate with right now to meditate with them, carry them around with with you throughout the day um, to really connect to those energies, breathe them in, fill yourself with them and see what they're trying to tell you. See what this this crystal has for me, right? Um, rose quartz for heart healing and, and things like that and for love and for healing around love. Um, citrine to bring in this sunshine, this power, this strength, this happiness, this energy, right? Thinking yellow like solar plexus, the sun, things of that nature. Uh, bringing us to your current energy though I feel like a lot of my Pisces are really working on letting go there's this energy where it's like you're maybe being forced out of or thinking about leaving your comfort zone a situation a relationship that really hasn't been working out or something that's been toxic even a job however this resonates it's like you are wanting to move into love. You're wanting to move into union with the life that is for you and really move away from these karmic situations, these toxic situations, these shady situations, these narcissistic relationships, these liars, cheaters, stealers, whatever it may be. You're, you're tired of it is exactly how it's coming through. Pisces, I hear you saying I'm tired of it. Like I'm tired of it. So I, I again on that same token, I feel like you're trying to let go of or work through something within that is going to bring new in. And the good news for you is in the theme of your reading, you have the sun and the star. So I see healing happening here. I see sunshine. I see brightness. I see the light. And I see major karmic balance uh, within your life and your relationships and situations here. So again, it really does feel like there's the ending to a, to a cycle here. Um, spirit really sort of saying, don't let these situations harden you off and turn you cold, right? Because there are diamonds of wisdom and healing in the rough. In all of these shakeups and breakups, there's, um, and, and whatever, mishaps, tower moments, death, rebirth, there is gems amidst all of the chaos, right? And so instead of hardening ourselves off, can we sort of step outside of ourselves? Can we step outside of our comfort zone and really look deeply into these situations and see why they happened on a more deep and subtle level? But it, regardless, I'm seeing action. I'm seeing my Pisces following in their intuition and betting on themselves, taking action toward this sunshine, toward your legacy, toward your happiness. And that's really what I see coming in for you in your incoming energy. We have the tower. So this structure is being broken down. You're leaving it behind. You're moving on and you are starting from scratch erecting this and building this solid foundation from which to move forward on right and you're taking all of the knowledge and wisdom gained from everything that you've been through and you are letting that be your guiding light as you move forward you're coming out of the darkness you're coming out of your cave i don't know if you can see in this hermit card it's like well first and foremost hermit is number nine of the tarot it's a major arcana nine represents the ending of a cycle because once we get to 10 we're, we're breaking that down to a single digit one plus zero is one we're tying up loose ends and we're moving into new territory the nine however is about being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel but it's still like we're, we're still in this sort of in between time I, I don't know if you can see this this person here is still in the cave they're in the bridge they're in the abyss but they are stepping out into this light they're about to step out into this light you got the hermit with the divine wisdom together as well i think scorpio or cancer one of the other water signs got the same combination and all of the water signs have had very similar reads and it's like all of the elements have been merging together over the past few months which is letting me know that we truly are ascending as a collective you guys but also if you have any heavy cancer or scorpio placements eighth house or fourth house placements whether it's in western or vedic um feel free to check those readings out 
in order to get a more full picture. But what I'm seeing is this very divine wisdom, this soul wisdom, this soul remembering is actually how it's coming through. I'm seeing you take that and truly letting it be your guiding light so you can move into situations that are working out, moving into situations that are good for you you're moving into an energy where you're open to receive abundance to receive love again so knocking these walls down these borders that we've put up these defenses and really opening up to love opening up to abundance opening up to this sunshine and this star energy this healing in this light and really moving toward building this legacy that you came here to create pisces with the king of pentacles i'm seeing a lot of physical abundance coming through as well when it comes to your finances and everything the king of pentacles maybe not the most fun or intense energy in the tarot but very solid very grounded very stable very abundant very sure um in what he's building and it's definitely gonna happen i'm seeing that for you whatever is causing you anger grief sadness um anything that's causing you to feel like you you lack in any way is sort of being wiped clean it's being broken down and you're able to move into these situations and energies that are working for you pisces which brings us to your advice here the first card that wanted to come out in your advice is this shadow work card and this is about really being able to look into that darkness within us and for you in this advice it's about leaving the things behind that are not serving us pisces whether it's addictions toxic relationships toxic situations um negative or toxic thought patterns and and, and self-limiting beliefs and things of that nature you're leaving it behind you're you don't need it anymore more. you've taken what you've needed from it you've learned you've gained the wisdom and now you are making decisions from this new space from this new energy to move forward again and to put yourself in this energy of being able to receive the abundance that you deserve i would say the main card here okay and then on the bottom of the deck we have this major shift temperance you've been patient you've been working hard you've been transmuting the dark into light but we have the sun in the theme and in your advice we have shadow work with the moon and the eight of wands and the eight of cups eights are speaking to not only strength right which you do have right under that number eight major arcana so maybe some of my pisces even seeing 888 and seeing synchronicities of that nature but what i'm seeing is um this patience and hard work this perseverance is causing this huge shift in this eight of wands eight of cups is about movement away from these situations that are causing this darkness in your life but with the temperance out here this is also internal stuff that you are working through and transmuting and alchemizing right so it is about patience it's about taking it easy on yourself again not being hard on yourself or hardening yourself and truly remaining open to this light as you work through the darkness and that has been sort of the theme for you pisces over the past few months and feel free to check out the playlist for the pisces readings you guys these readings are timeless anything that pulls you in there will be a message for you there but this is where we're really working through those shadows this may even be a dark night of the soul this is some type of shadow energy that is presenting itself so that way it can be worked through transmuted and moved away from however that resonates for you family this is about you having the courage and strength to choose yourself and to truly take this clarity in this truth and make it work for you page of swords knight of swords we're taking this clarity we're moving forward with it we're taking this sort of truth we're cutting cords we're cutting things out we're cutting things off um and we're truly uh unstucking ourselves right we are freeing ourselves so that way we can move into our legacy and abundance family and this is at the same time fulfilling major karmic contracts closing out major karmic cycles and becoming enlightened and illuminated through these situations and happenings family so don't let anything keep you up nights right keep fighting spirit wants you to know that you do have the upper ground and you got this right open yourself up to the abundance you deserve pisces we're gonna grab a 
card from this Starseed Oracle, and I would like to grab a couple Kali Oracle cards as well, as usual, before we close out and take our cleansing breath. Spirit, what is the message for my fishies, my fishy family, my Pisces gang, Piscean fam, for my Pisces brothers and sisters, what's the message here? Thank you. Perspective, none of this matters. Zoom out common ground that's not the one they want us to read though this one is thank you spirit earth pulsing inner child tenderness and innocence rare gifts and earth pulsing pulse of the mother slow down spend some time in nature A mysterious pulse is woven through all of life. The planet itself has a rhythm. You can see it in the seasons and the tides. In our world of artificial lighting, long working hours, and modern conveniences, it's easy for us to feel stuck and off kilter. It's time to reconnect with nature and surrender to the pulse of the earth. Earth pulsing is my favorite tool for surrendering to the rhythmic pulse of the mother and the entire universe. Download and earth blah blah blah, blah meditation um, at starseedoracle.me. Today, many of us are disconnected from the land beneath us. Somewhere along the way, a severing happened, a moment when it became too painful to stay connected. We feel unsupported and as if we don't belong. We look to other people in the external world to fill the vo void <laughs> of the connection, holding, and belonging to fill the void of the connection, holding, and belonging once given to us by the earth. Taking, clutching, conquering, longing for others to receive us fully as the mother once did, forgetting that she's still here waiting for us to remember and activate the part of us that longs to receive her embrace. When you consciously connect with the earth, a veil is left lifted and she opens up and receives you more fully. You're able to drink from her sweet waters and release what no longer serves you. Stagnant energy falls away and you become connected to all things on the planet. The activation for this card, family, if you want to put your hand on your heart and repeat. I surrender to the pulse of the mother. May my heart beat in unison with her. And I do have a grounding meditation in the playlist on the channel know thyself gno thyself there's a playlist called know thyself uh click through that there's a grounding meditation feel free to check that out that will help you connect to the earth as well go outside and do it barefoot and all of those good things and it will help you to cleanse yourself to cleanse your energy to connect to mama gaia and really sort of ground down into the here and now um, let's grab some cards from Ma before we tap out and then we will take our breath Divine Mother messages for Pisces today wow thank you so we have this Nitya Kali card along with this Anahata Kali card it says through journeying within you will gain energy insight and freedom from the constraints of what has been allow that which needs to end to do so and you shall realize that you're not being denied but released there's something new on the horizon for you so honor your losses but keep hope in your heart for what is meant to be there's definitely something new on the horizon for you family your heart cannot be contained or constrained by what has been taking place in your life. It's exactly what I was talking about um, when it comes to hardening and, and setting up those those borders, that armor. Um, your heart wisdom and empowerment is growing and soon you shall have the wisdom and courage to accomplish something significant to your soul's journey. Trust in the invisible workings of divine love in your life and let your heart be at peace as it guides you onward. So with that, my beautiful Pisces family, that is what I have for you. Before we tap out fully, we're going to take this deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will and our imagination, our visualization to draw in this divine cosmic energy, this prana. We're going to picture it as white or gold energy filling up our aura. We're going to pause um, hold the breath at the top, lock that energy into our heart space and watch ourselves glowing brighter and brighter. And then as we release, we're going to exhale um, very forcefully like we're filling up a balloon, watching any negativity, any blockages, any sadness, any habits, any um, 
anger, any type of like lower frequencies. We're going to picture that all as black or gray smoke or static leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that. So with that being said, let's empty our lungs and get this breath in. <sighs> Breathe in. Hold it, squeeze Mulabanda, raise that energy up. Now lock it into your heart space. And watch yourself glowing brighter and brighter. And release all that bull stuff. Family, I love and appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much for being in this space. Thank you for all the all of the love and support, the likes, the subs, the comments, you guys. It is appreciated more than you know. So thank you, thank you, thank you, family. Um, I hope this message found y'all well and in great spirits. I hope it resonated and helped in some capacity. Um, and I hope to catch y'all on the next one. Have a blessed day, y'all.